Yes, welcome back to class culture and art smart. Yes, back on track. It feels so good. Welcome, hearts of gold. Today's episode, we're going to talk about art smart. Yes, so I like to give a nice intro with a little mood music, but before that, I want to say thank Thank you, members. I always share the topic as a live video, and I keep that public, and then I add it to these videos, So, and that's part of the show. But only members get to see these videos. So I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for being so patient. Shout out to the future. It won't make any matter to you, but I know everyone was being so patient and I appreciate you. So welcome. Thank you. Please subscribe. If you're new here, I appreciate you. Join, like, and share whenever and wherever you are on the internet. Just put in hashtag class culture. So let's get on with the show. We're going to talk about description. And before that, I'm going to go ahead and do my intro, but I just needed to get that in. Usually I'm from today on, you know, one video a week. And for some reason, I'm going to crank out as many as I can for May because I feel obligated and I feel like I owe you for waiting for so long. Because here's an example <laughs> of when I made this video. Okay. I, I made it um, <clears throat> March 13th. So <laughs> it's May 14th. So I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Much. So let, let me go ahead and get rid of that, that old nasty receipt. Okay. And say, I'm so sorry it took so long. But I appreciate you being super patient. It's worth the wait because we have, I have so many topics. It's blowing my mind. And, and, and that's the point. That's one of the joys of having a being a content creator, having a channel and be able being able to share what you want with your audience. And guess what? It it lives forever. If you just have a conversation with some even people who teach, it's not recorded. It's gone. You say it, it's gone. Here it lives forever. So welcome back. Okay, now this might be a little loud. I, me, 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 me. No, I'm not going to sing. It's just going to be a little music in the background. <laughs> now that I'm back on track. Now, I won't be doing all this talkie talkie in the next one. I just needed to get back on track and tell you I appreciate your time and patience. Okay. I am your curator, Deirdre Helena. Welcome back to Art Smart. In these episodes, I simply demonstrate, discuss, and display design and technique. Regarding all visual art elements, I even show techniques that bring balance to life. I talk about art and craft and creativity as well. Whatever your heart desires. Okay. Thank you. And topic. Four carrots. so happy it feels so good I, I had so much on my plate uh class culture it was it was it, it was a lot going on so again thank you you are flawless from the bottom of ba -ba 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 bottom lots of bottoms of my heart you guys are the best and you're super patient and I appreciate you. So let's get on with the topic and, and all the other topics. These videos are just going to start popping up. I feel 
so good. Every time I talk about art, it just makes me happy inside. And I need that every day. I'm, I'm going to challenge myself. You know my three a day rule as far as my videos and my channel. I, I'm just going to challenge myself and just start like in the morning. <clears throat> just hit live. But the, the thing about it is my goal, because you know I love to edit, is to make my topics, as you can see in the, in the middle there, um, and then come on and, and, and do the show. So let me get rid of this banner and talk about description. When you go to a gallery, do you feel out of sorts? Do you feel like you're just walking along, just looking at the wall? Are you engaging with the piece, the sculpture, the moment, What's wh why you're there? This video will help you do that. I, I want you to be brave enough to walk into a gallery <clears throat> in front of anything, push a you don't like. Get used to describing the elements in the picture, and I guarantee you, when you when you when you when you start flowing, when when uh uh uh, it's gonna be harmonious. Har, har, there's gonna be harmony, harmonious. Sorry, you know I'm these languages, child, in my head. You're gonna find the harmony of it. Harmonious. That's the word. That's when your your mind is just gonna. Explode blow into the colors are going to be in your brain. You're going to say, wow, I just got what the artist is talking about. Just by engaging in this process of description and it's going to be fun. Uh, baby, you, you're going to be hit. You're going to be mad. You're going to be missing art shows. You're going to try to get to every art show you can find. You're going to, you're going to be so happy when you go into an art show and, and you get to what? Maybe meet the artist. You're going to be, oh, my God, you're here. And then you're going to have all these tools. Remember your, remember? Bring your journal with you in your hand. Maybe you get, get her to sign it. You know, get the takeaway from, from, you know, the postcard, you know, they have. And, and, and make a scrapbook. But she's standing right there. I don't know what piece she designed. Doesn't matter. She's there. Ask her. Hey. Wow. Hi. My name is Gigi Darling. I'm here in this wonderful gallery at this show. Tell me what you want me to know about this piece. Okay, and then she is going to be so grateful and so happy. A lot of times artists hate being there, to be honest with you. Yeah, they do. I said it. Don't tell them I said it. But when you engage on that level, they'll be, wow. Okay. And, I mean, don't feel obligated to buy pieces, but if you can, go for it. Then you can take a picture. You, you're going to be standing right next to her in front of that green, fabulous piece back there. And then that that's what we call provenance. OK. And, you know, and it's a piece of art and it's a piece of wealth. Yeah. Treasure. So, yeah, that's the goal to go to a gallery, to be able to describe the elements in the piece, to maybe meet the artist be social, have some hors d'oeuvres and a cocktail, my love, and, and just have fun, my lovey. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and then it might be a different experience. It might be an installation, a moment, a feeling, a mood, and, and give into it. Don't go in there and go, oh, there's rocks and flowers and pictures on the wall. Go read what they want you to experience and give into it. Imagine yourself in the water, in the lake, and before the last breath, the last bubble of oxygen leaves your lungs, you think, of moments in time and the people that you love. 
and you die. Okay, you know, that was dramatic, but this is what artists do. They blow our minds. I'm like, oh! And then later on, you, you maybe you'll get closer and, and get to see what the images of, are about. But it, it's fabulous. Okay, it, it is. It is. So that's kind of how you have to engage. I, people tell me, so much, they try to take me to all the galleries with them. Cha, I can't go with everybody. That's why I'm glad I'm making this video because now you can watch, listen, and learn and have the same fun, fabulous experiences you're going to have way, way, way in the future. Not now. My goal is to get all my art smart videos done by the end of the year and next year, because you know, it's pandemic. Shout out to the future. We made it. Woohoo! We'll start visiting galleries and with permission from the artists and the owners, I'll be able to click live and we'll do exactly what I'm talking about. But I am good now. I want to get all of this done and out of my system and on to class culture. Okay, so I shared those two. I'm going to go ahead in real time and go ahead and delete those. Why not? There's a lot going on in the real world. Okay, delete that one too. Yeah, delete, delete, delete. I have a lot, a lot, a lot to share. I'm going to keep the video up because I want to play that in real time. And I think that was it. Yeah, yeah. Do I have any more covers? No. And you saw that wonderful image. Oh, nasty piece of jeans. Okay, shout out to the denim jeans fashion Friday video. I had to make sure I said, I, what did I name it? The history of denim blue jean. Yeah. One more. And enjoy the gallery. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you. So, that's that's the background. We're going to keep that. I won't delete that. Yes. Or this is what I can do. I can put my hearts of gold and then I can delete that. Oh, nope, not that one. Show. Okay. This, yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll get better. See, programming, production, and broadcast is real time. And I'm getting there. When, when you're the only one doing it, it, it's hard to focus. So, but it feels great. Let's go on to the topic. Now, downtown in the description box, and I, I am so glad I'll be able to get rid of this because I've been holding on to this. But anyway, art description, art description words, find your art voice, elements of composition. And I have, believe it or not, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven links because this is such an important thing. I don't want to let you down. I want you to come back 10 years from now and, and say, oh, wow, we're going to the Louvre in Paris. And I need to watch that art description video again. And it's going to be here for you, lovey. Sorry, somebody's sending me a text. Let, let me make sure. Not a text. Yeah, it's a text. Oh, uh, still have to schedule our show. Let me know the best. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let me say, kissy. Sorry. <laughs> Digital work we can discuss later. I like just being natural and relaxed, just like you were here with me, and we're going to talk about this. So, yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I love you, Hearts of Gold. Class Culture rocks. So let's go. And I'm taking my time because I've got so many windows open. I, I said, do I have these open? I said, no, I'm going to do these one at a time. So thank you for your patience. Just sit back, relax. And that's kind of how I like to approach um, class culture. I don't I don't want you to feel like you're in a class. I don't want you to feel like we're just womp, womp, womping. But I want you to have all the good you need to go forth. Okay. Let's talk about the thumbnail. And I am 
I'm going to take down, yeah, I went ahead and made my Archigo banner because I am back. Mm -hmm. There we go. Elements of composition in art. You have unity, balance, movement, rhythm, focus, contrast, pattern, proportion. Book note those. Book note. Bookmark those. <laughs> because I'm gonna make a video for each and every one. This is just 101. I can do an hour on each one of those and I will. Promise, promise, promise. But we have to start somewhere and we're talking about description. So I made this the thumbnail on purpose so you can watch this one first. Now, when we talk about each one of these, the next thumbnail, maybe not in order, but they'll, they'll be in this series of Art Smart. You'll see the title, Balance, Movement, Rhythm. You'll see that. But I want you to watch this first. Okay? That's why I'm sharing this. Okay? So stop that one. So what's the next one? And that's going to be exciting. Now I feel like you're 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 with me. Okay? This is more what we're going to tackle first. Okay? We're going to tackle for this first. The components the components of art. Subject, style, content, form, media, technique. Let me say that again. Subject, style, content, form, media and technique those are coming individually as well in the future okay so that's what we're going to focus on like today okay so i'm going to remove that one okay and let me go ahead and make it small i'm going to make that one small so i can remind myself later mm -hmm. yep keep that one now, when you're in the gallery, give in. You already got, you already, you're there. You've already given your money, your time and attention. Give in. Okay? Give in to the moment of standing there like that gentleman and take it in. The critique process has the same elements as describing. You're not there as a professional critic, but you, you're doing the same thing. You're describing it, you're analyzing it, interpreting it, meaning what 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 is the first mood that came into you? And with family and friends and, and like the two ladies in our, you know, Art Smart uh, intro there. They were talking about it. They, she might have been judging it, like, oh, look, that color is, well, mm, but I get it. That's the whole process of art. It, it's the whole process of describing art. That, that's it. That's all. Okay? So get used to doing that. You have to engage. Why are you there? You might be there for the history of it, but it's still, that person who made that piece, whether it was... 20,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, or two weeks ago, it's the same process. Okay, so get used to describing, analyzing, interpreting, and judging for yourself. You might not have the same experience as the person standing next to you, and guess what? That's okay, too. Now you say, well, how can I do all of that? I'm just standing there. I might be in front of the piece um, for like two or three minutes. But are you there to buy it? Then you might say, yes. Well, if you're there to buy it, don't you want something on your wall that you appreciate that speaks to you? Of course you do. And art critics say the same thing. They say, are people that buy and sell art, you know, the art critics, they are people that buy and sell. But they're asking too, do the people who buy this do this? 
Mm -hmm. Art critics also judge art. Well, so should you if you're going to buy it. And then it says, and can make an artist famous. Well, if you're standing there and that lovely lady is standing there, I'm like, woo. What if the week after you meet her, she sells a piece to Beyonce? Get into that. I'm just saying. And then what happens to your piece? The value skyrockets. That's a bit of a sad story. When I was working in a gallery, we had just signed an artist. His piece was on the wall. We were admiring it as the staff. Two weeks later, he passed away. And I showed two people his pieces. And I said, well, you might not want to wait in the sense that, you know, the gallery is in Las Vegas, Caesar's Palace. And the gallery is there. I'm like, well, somebody gets it. I mean, you know, if they're, if they're there, they got the money. I never question if anybody can afford anything. That's low class. Don't, don't do that. And the one lady said, she says, oh, I'm going to, I'm local. I'll come back uh, next week. I said, can I put it on hold for you? She said, no. He died two weeks later. His uh, uh, attorney came and took everything because the value did what? Boom, skyrocket. Yeah, he died of a drug overdose. It was horrible. So when you go in that gallery, do exactly what they're doing. And if it speaks to you, buy it. You never know. Because that artist became famous, unfortunately, through his death. But fortunately, you can meet the artist in the gallery and you can get a piece from them. And that piece will grow in value because eventually everyone passes away. That's my point. It's a piece of art. You're going to pass it down to family and friends, wherever you put it in your will. And eventually it's going to become valuable. And that's what they do. Exactly what we said. So I, I needed to uh, do the first and then give you the buy and double down on it in a receipt. That's the why. That's the point. And to what? Decorate your walls. I mean, how easy is that? You know, it, it's, it's very, simple, very simple. So before we go on to the next, let me make sure I'm, I'm sharing exactly what I need to share. Let me see. Yeah, we did the components of art. art. Okay, yeah, we did that already. I'm, I'm not trying to be repetitive. I'm just trying to drive the uh, point home. Yeah, I want you to go buy a piece of art. You're a, you're a whole adult and you haven't bought a piece of art yet. Mm -hmm. Just go do it. All right, I'm looking for this thing so I yeah yeah just, just get rid of that. Yeah, we don't need to see that again. Now there are three main components of a work of art: the subject, the object depicted, depicted, the form the way that something looks, as in line, shape, etc., and the content, the impact or the meaning, that will fall into interpreting it. It's up to you. That's what makes a piece of art beautiful for different reasons to different people. That's why it lives and exists and is dynamic, and everybody who wants to make art just make it. If it never hits a gallery, who cares? Just decorate your home with it. Just decorate your home with it because what happens is if you don't, when you die, it's gone. You have to be brave enough to participate. It's just like football. You got to be in it. You got you got to be in it. You, you got to do it. You got to show up and subscribe to my art and crafts channel because I'm going to help people who want to get in it, get in it, whether it's one piece or 70, it, you got to start and it's okay. Again, three main components, subject, form, and content. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I get passionate because wh why are you missing out? Why do you feel like you can't walk in a gallery, especially if it's free? Oh my, please. I always do that when I'm walking down the street and I see a gallery open. I say, yeah, I got 10 minutes. 
you know, and, and be honest, you know, oh, I'm, I'm just here to look. Is that okay? <laughs> you know, if you see something that's a hundred dollars go, oh, do you have a payment plan? Uh, yes. And believe during a pandemic, they are going to take a $20 bill and hold it. But some places will not. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. But when you, when you are in that place, how are you going to know? Do you ask? Are they going to tell you? Do you have to keep uh, wondering what's in the painting? No. Because this is going to be under the painting or near it or by it or in the pamphlet they hand to you. Here, let me make it big. That's what you're going to see next to the piece of art. The artist, the name of the painting, the year it was made, the medium, what it's on, the size, the amount, the website, an email. These are the things that in the modern day, that's what you should see. I mean, it is what it is. An email, Pinterest. Now, do you understand why you're supposed to show your social media? I hope you do. Every artist should have social media. And I'm going to put my banner down there and I'm just going to leave it up there. That's the point of social media. And there's a phone number. Everybody should have a business phone number. Boost is what? $50 a month. That's why I have a boost phone for my business. No one has my private number. And that person is doing the thing in their company, Aubrey Art. So that's what we're talking about. That's when, and then what do you do after you read that, you know, an old nasty snapshot on your phone or whatever, then you engage the piece. And we're going to talk about that too. But literally a description is a description. <laughs> okay. How you interpret it and judge it. That's the next step in the, uh, uh, the purpose of your presence there in this piece of art. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just taking my time, you guys. That way I can uh, clean off my um, computer. Now, the levels of content in a work of art. Then we'll start Googling and then I'll come back to sharing. Oh, it's levels to it, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do my best not to curse because, you know, I want anybody to come to these videos. So I apologize. <laughs> and, uh, now, parents, miss me. You curse, fight, and fuss in front of your kids. But I do appreciate you, <laughs> class culture. Are you here? Yeah, you're here with me in the house of go and we're on fire. Okay. So. Back to our smart <laughs> little commercial. The levels of content in a work of art. And, you know, I get nervous. I'm just making sure. All right. Three levels of content. Matter, elements and composition, underlining and symbolic meanings or themes. There's levels. So if the first thing you want to write is everything I showed you in, in your art journal, book, whatever, you know, you're going to take it with you. I, I found one. I, I think I showed it to you guys. Didn't I? Yeah, it's called Dream. It's blue. I think I showed it to you. Okay. I'll show it to you again. Here, let me do this. Because when I do my haul, I want it in my little hot hands. Let me see. I might as well. Okay, let me put it over here because <laughs> then I'll forget if I don't, if it's not where it's supposed to be, and it will remind me why it's there. So you're going to open to that page in your journal, and you're going to say, okay, now I'm, I'm looking at this piece. What is the subject matter? Now let's think of the Mona Lisa. I had that in the intro. It's a portrait. Elements in composition. It's oil. And she's outside, looks like. And she's 
right up front and everything is way in the back distance. Is it, is it in theory? Is it an actual portrait? It, you can put in Mona Lisa in YouTube and goodbye, you'll never come back. Because there's so many videos, so many, um, you know, uh, they're trying to figure out if, I think it's him as a woman. I think it's Leonardo da Vinci as a woman. It's up to you. We could do a conspiracy for days. My mom and I used to discuss it. I watch it on History Channel. I'm watching, you know, National Geographic is in the background and they're digging up stuff from the ground. I'm always engaged in art. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, I am engaged in art. It's what I do. It's how I exist on planet Earth. It's fascinating. My head is just pew. That's better than being high, drunk, or exhilarated on a roller coaster you know, right or whatever. And then after you figure out the elements and composition, the and you're standing in front of this piece of art, I say all of that to say that's what you're going to feel because now you're engaged in it. You're, you're engaged. You're, you give in to it. That, just do it. Like that gentleman was standing there watching and he, he, was, he was engaged, wasn't he? Underlining and symbolic meanings or themes. It's going to be up to you, but hints are given if the artist is not there. What do I mean by that? Hints are always given. And let me get rid of what I need to get rid of and, and, and get the right thing. Okay. Okay, here we go. So if they want you to have hints, I should put that. I should put it that way. If they want you to have hints, but here's some hints and and some discovery and some insights. Okay, this artist. I'm only removing this just to make sure it's not covering it. Okay, so look, Virginia Barnes. It's called Fortier Changing and Fold Fold Changing and 1974 wood block print. So she, she gave you everything. And I guess this university owned it and they, it's on, it, it was given to the gallery on that date. So here they're talking about the artist. She was born in Alabama in 1894 and attended the Art Institute of Chicago. Shout out to the Art Institute of Las Vegas. That's where I got my film degree and Columbia University. For two years, she studied in New York under that man, well-known abstract painter and teacher. She began her teaching career upon moving to Alabama in the 30s and in 42 joined the facility or the, I'm sorry, the faculty of Alabama College, known today as University of Montevallo. Barnes' work covers a variety of media, including silk screening, watercolor, woodcut, and portraiture, <laughs> portraiture. <laughs> Her ceramics, now we'll, we'll go over that later, and woodcut have been exhibited in the United States, Europe, Asia, and now, so those are hints. Like, oh, great. Now, if that, that lady is standing in the gallery and we just walked in in this video, then that's different. You, you can get to know her. She's standing right in front of you. But what are we doing here? You're looking for him. Now what am I, am I looking at, right? And and who, you, you can't look at a piece of art without asking who, who made it. That, that, that doesn't make sense, right? And, and, and that's the point. Now, another, uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, another way to kind of guess, okay, are they leading me uh, somewhere? Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes they are. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. And then we'll go on to me sharing. I just like show, get, it's okay to read. Some people, I was with someone once and they were like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm like reading. They were like, oh, you're supposed to read those? I went, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So 
other hints. Now, Margaret at the top, it says notation 2 to 18, and then Margaret at the bottom, notation 42 to 17. So then you can say, oh, this is a series. Okay? It The, the hints, the type of paper, and, and it looks like, you can even imagine it in your mind by reading this. That's an excellent description of the piece you're looking at. It's an elastic hair tie, the artist's hair, thread, pencil on rag paper. It sounds interesting, right? The size, the price, and there's her, what, social media and contact information. You have to have a phone number, people. I like this. Don't send me no email. You can text me. You can call me. Leave a message. It's ridiculous. That's the world you need to live in. You don't answer it. You let people leave voice messages. You know what I'm saying? If you don't desire to speak to them, you either block them or don't call back. If somebody says, hi, Margaret, you know, ring, and I'm looking. I'm Margaret. I'm playing the role of Margaret. Okay. Ring. Oh, okay. Somebody's calling me from Nevada. Okay, I'll wait for the message. And then, bloop, one message. Hi, Margaret. My name is Joe. I saw your notation 218 at the Main Street Gallery in New York. I want to buy it for $500. I'm ready. I'm, uh, I'm putting you on hold right now, stand by, and getting my money. That's how art works. Now, if it's in a gallery where people get commissioned, the curator is calling Margaret because I've already uh, got the money. I've done the visa. I've gotten their name. I want to know where to ship it to or I'm just handing it to them. And I'm calling Margaret and telling her, I, I just sold your notation to 18. I'm taking my point out my portion point, whatever you want to call it. And you can hear, here it comes. Have a great weekend. That's business. That's, that's business one-on-one. It's, it's that easy. We are in a digital world. There's no excuse. I, I don't deal with people with excuses anymore. I, it's boring to me and I will not. I'm telling you exactly what you need to do and class culture hearts of gold. I'm going to direct artists to this video. And letting them, letting them know if you want me to represent you in any fa fashion, form, or way, this is it. That you're responsible for shipping it if it's in your garage, or I'm responsible for shipping it if, if it's at the show that I'm giving. That's no matter. I'm just saying this is how we're doing it. Now those white pieces of paper, blue color, whatever it could be on a. I, I got all kind of great ideas. It can be any type of something people can pick up and, and say, oh, I want this. You have to provide it. I, I can't provide that. And this is what I do. I send people and there's all types of forms. So I'm not giving you away any type of secrets. You know, I give this to the artists. I say every piece you submit to me, you need to describe it. I know it's a little fuzzy. It is what it is. I just don't like people to come on and say, I made that. And I'm like, well, fair use. But anybody, if you have word, make your own. So every piece of art, the artist gives this to us. So they're doing the same thing that you're doing on your end. They're describing it. You're reading it. They're telling us about the piece why do we need that? Because if I'm a curator and I'm trying to sell this piece of art, I need to study the piece of art and I need to tell the client that I want them to buy it. This was the artist's favorite piece about this piece of art. Okay. And then this is, it's about conversation. It's about engagement. And here you ask them, if you could change anything about your project, what would you change and why? And they like that because they get to express themselves because artists are professionists, perfectionists, and sometimes it's a masterpiece and they're still not happy. This sometimes is an outlet for them and they go, oh, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, I want to know. 
and it's also discussion. And I also asked them, well, can the purchaser have this as well? A copy, not the original. The gallery keeps the original. And they go, oh yeah, or, or no, or yes. Which of the following elements of art listed below used in your artwork? So they'll let us know, line, they'll give us a description, color, shape, value, texture. The artist is the professional, they know what to write down. And then you say, how was it made? And, and they'll say, pencil, pen, oil, you know, brush technique, you know, I use my feet or whatever. They'll put whatever they want. Sometimes I say, put whatever you want on the back. Which of the following principles of design listed below did you use in your artwork? Circle principles you use. You could have used one or all. And they do that. Balance, contrast, emphasis, movement, pattern, rhythm, unity. How? Now, you might get certain artists that'll give you a box with the word A on top. And you give them this and, and, and you ask them, can you fill this out? And they're like, no, it's a box with an A on top. What I do as a curator, I fill in. Because I got I want to say something about it. I'm just, I'm just not going to say, hi, welcome. Please buy a box with an A on the top for $500. No, I am going to describe it and I am going to give it a life. So they can engage with it. And then I'm going to show it to the artist. And then I'm going to get them to sign off and date it and say, oh, that's, wow. Yes, go for it. We're just trying to get them the money, honey. Okay. It's 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 a production. It's an event. You have to engage. You know, it, it, it's 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 just like a fashion show in my mind. They're just not moving anywhere. They're they're just in in situ. You know, they're they're just right there, so people can look at it. Do I want to show these? Do I want to get on with the get on? Let me see what I need. Yeah, I want, I want to keep these. I want to keep those. Okay. Now, this is the fun part. You know I love this part. Now we're going to go to description. Yeah, I'm taking my time with this. Uh, shout out to the future and everybody watching. I appreciate you. Okay. Art description. Let me make sure you can see it. And do you, you don't need to see me. Do you need to see me? Yeah, I like hearts to go back there. Okay. Let me get the right. I don't know why I should have put this down at the bottom. I'm keeping, I have to keep looking for it. <laughs> art description. Art also called visual art to distinguish it from other art forms. That's what we're talking about, visual arts. Now, we're not. It, why? Because singing is art. So we're talking about visual art. A visual object or experience um, consciously create it through an expression of skill or imagination, you know, creativity. The term art encompasses diverse media, such as painting, sculpture, printmaking, drawing, decorative art, photography, installation, and film. Don't ask me why they didn't put that in there, but it's okay. Art is important to the artist. You're not going to hit everyone. They don't care. They are making it because they want to. We make our content because we want to. We do our little commercials and uploads, our, our, our edits, because we want to. It feels great to be creative. It feels even better if we engage. Okay? So here, how do you describe artwork? Describe your artwork as if you were talking to someone who couldn't see it. Describe the mood of your artwork as well as the visual characteristics. Always mention the colors. Make sure you use words that describe the colors and their effects. Okay? There's so much more. I don't want to make this a five-hour video. So when you hit images you'll get to see exactly what we're talking about. The little pieces of paper, <laughs> right? That are under a piece of art. Sometimes they're buying acrylic, you know, because people like to touch. Trust me, it's a lot going on. 
That's exactly what we're talking about. And then here, that was the image of the step back and engage. And that particular picture with the, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Scream. Someone stole that decades ago and it's still missing. It's worth millions and millions of dollars. So I always like to use it and show it because one day it's going to be found. So related searches are artwork description, samples, gallery art descriptions, short artist statement examples. So instead of that blank piece of paper, when you hit that, that's what you're going to find. Okay, next subject. I love this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being patient. Now, shout out to the future. I might be a little late for an upcoming show. It is what it is. That can wait. I, I, art is where it's at right now. Okay. So we are going to go to art descriptions. The art description words. You know, I have to be creative. Like, for instance, they're asking me, do you mean descriptive? And I'm like, I put that in and I didn't like it, you guys. So I like to, I put art description in words. This is where it all begins, and it's exciting. You can be standing in the gallery and playing Gigi Darling and get to this part and, you know, turn down the volume <clears throat> and, and come to this part. Color, is it natural? Is it clear? Is it compatible? And it's, you're, you're the critic, remember? You're trying to determine if you like it or you want to buy it, live with it, or add it to your collection. Some people art they hate. It's incredible. Lively, stimulating, subtle, sympathetic, artificial, clashing, depressing. You can say that's depressing. You, they want you to say that. That's why they made it. It's a bunch of dead animals up in that visual. That's depressing. They want it. That, that, that's the mood they want to give you. They're depicting it on purpose. They're sending you a message. Whoever made that, if they're dead, they are alive in that picture. Discordant, okay? Uh, garish, body, jarring, unfriendly, violent, bright, brilliant, deep, earthy, harmonious, intense, rich, saturated, strong, vibrant, vivid. I could go on. I'm going to put an old nasty bookmark because... We're going to come back to this for several reasons. And it's fun. It's meant to be fun. That's why I put fun up there. It really is, it really is meant to be fun. Don't, don't be intimidated. Why? All you have to do is bring Gigi Darling with you, especially this video, and just make it happen. And then you're going to be like, I I, I, look, my mom, my grandmother in Chicago, in the 70s, I was a little girl, had me in every gallery in Chicago. I don't know what's happening now, child, but I'm just saying. And as I grew up, every moment in my life, every year that I was on the planet, I've always visited galleries. I can't tell you how many galleries I've visited. It's in the hundreds of thousands, I bet. And I'm not even lying to you. I'm not even, not hundreds of thousands. Okay, but, well, no, I take that back. We have digital realm. Uh, no, I'm not taking that back. Hundreds of thousands of galleries I visited. Oh, yeah. We're going to get to that point eventually where we're going to visit galleries online. Oh, yeah, I take that back. Look what we're doing now. We're visiting things on the internet. That's digital. Claim it until you feel until you feel brave enough to walk in a gallery and, and, and do everything. But I'm telling you, you don't have to wait. Do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday in real time. Welcome to the weekend. Now here, when you've put in find your art voice, here it asks, how do I find my art voice? Begin with your eyes closed. And maybe have your family or friend or whoever you're there with say, Describe it or or tell me the what's on the description. What are they saying? 
and then have them describe it to you and go to the next one have them close their eyes and you do the same thing and then boom you open your eyes and you go oh okay well what wait a minute what about this and then it's a whole fun discussion 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 it, it, it gives a different purpose to why you're there if 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 it's a piece of sculpture in the middle of the room walk around it all the way around at every angle then start your critique mm -hmm. sorry I drank water give me a second okay I'm back <laughs> oh nasty <laughs> swag of water okay begin with your eyes the main path to finding your authentic voice is to look inward instead of saying I can't say I try. Close your eyes and imagine something you have never drawn before. Then try drawing it. Now, I'm not saying you're going to go in a gallery, then go home and try to draw it. Or No. Why not imagine you're the artist? That's why I'm sharing this. Because people who are artists welcome to class culture are watching this too so i'm talking to the artists if you're an artist try this find your creative voice if you want to start drawing if you want to start painting creating carving okay editing film begin with your eyes closed watch what someone else did and close your eyes and and, and speak to yourself what do you want to do you go to the movies, you want to be a filmmaker. You go to galleries, you want to do oil painting. You go to exhibits, you want to sculpt. You know? So now, after you've engaged, this is how you can find your engagement and it, it, or your, your purpose, right? And do it. You, hey, I want to do it. I want to do a show just for family members, and I want to make five pieces of, of art. Do it. Make it exclusive. Y'all make a birthday parties. Make your next birthday party an art exhibit, and then surprise everybody. And they go, "Who did that? I did." I bet you sell every piece of that art. Go for it. Let me know. Descriptions down. The comments down below. The description box. That's that's what Gigi's gonna do. Okay, a, a cake and candles are so passe at this point in my life. I'm just saying, I, I, we, we need themes. We need themes, purpose, and, and planning. And then just do it. Create a big series of small works. Create an in inspiration board. We call them vision boards of your own work. And we're going to get into that too. Okay, so as an artist going to the gallery, I wanted to give you some encouragement. And this is what this is. Even if you're not an artist, you can still embrace this. Go, oh, I can imagine them making that. That's what I do. And Because when I take someone to a gallery and I'm like, are you okay? They're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, well, stand there and imagine them doing that. They're like, oh, okay. They're like, oh, yeah, it's a different experience. Yes. You can't just, oh, when, when can we go get some ice cream? I'm like, why are you here? We're here to engage. Just like if we were sitting in a movie, you would sit and watch it. When you walk in a gallery, you're there to engage, and you need to engage. Again, you can play the close your eyes. You describe it. I describe it. You can look at it. You can think about the artist. Or if you're the artist, you can get inspired by it. It is what it is. You have to engage. And I'm getting to the point, hearts will go, I don't invite people anywhere unless they're going to engage. I'm, I'd rather go by myself. I, 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 I mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And last but not least, elements in the composition of art. Yeah, and this wasn't so long. Okay, I thought it was going to be long chop. But, you know, I will show you the webbies. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read them or anything. So that, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Fine. You're, okay. So let me close that. I did a bookmark. Okay. I don't know why that's open. I'm going to close it. Didn't I say elements of composition of art? I sure did. Okay, that is open. Oh, okay. Yay. 
All right, here we go. That's the thumbnail. So when you put in elements of composition of art, that's what you're gonna find, okay? Then they, they talk about hierarchies and things like that, and there she is. That's why I put her in the Mona Lisa. If you're an artist, that's what you're doing. If you're a visitor that appreciates art, you're, you're looking at her face, the background, you're appreciating it, you know, critiquing it and doing all those other things, right? Line, shape, form, you know, te technique, value, medium, you're appreciating it, the history. You might just be thinking about Leonardo da Vinci. I am, that's his face that I said it. What old nasty Bernice on, and he just painted it. I think it's brilliant. What else? He, he ran out of everything else to do. So what did he do? He created a painting of him as a woman. That's why he has that little sneak smile on his face. Like, mm -hmm. Brilliant. Brilliant. And it's fun. And then, you know, artists are doing all of that other stuff in the background. But I just wanted to share that with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Because all you got to do is punch it in. So I'm going to pull up. And as you can see here, space, design, shape, line, form, drawing, Mona Lisa. We could spend all year talking about Mona Lisa. A definition, principles, layouts, Leonardo, pictorial composition. Okay. Let's hit all. The elements of composition are in Western art generally. That's general. Okay. Balance, contrast, focus, motion, pattern, propor proportion, rhythm, and unity. And I, I'm going to do a nasty screenshot because that's basically it. Okay. And you can hit that website. I think I got that one. Let me see. Because it's in blue. Is it in blue? No, I, I'm not going to hit it. <laughs> Listen to me. No, Deirdre. No, no, don't do it. Because that's going to be in another show. Okay, so let me put that in there. Okay. All right. So, yeah, isn't that cool? That it it, it all matters. Um, today for 10 minutes and could have the same conversation with someone today, 200 years ago, or that a primitive in a cave painting on the wall. Same thing. They can have the same discussion. That's the beauty. That's the connection. That's the DNA of art and artist. You know, he, he, he could connect with this person. He or she. I'm not trying to be sexist. Mm -hmm. um, of course, he would have to read English. He could connect with George. Okay. And oil on canvas. Because that's what he was. That's the medium he worked in. Oil on canvas. They could connect. You know, now a lot of times when you see the words acquired through, that means that person bought it. It looks like that person passed away. It was bequeathed to that particular, wherever that venue is. I don't, it could, I don't know. It could be an art gallery, wherever. And the name of it, the date of it, and it's oil on canvas. Leonardo would come back and, go and appreciate that piece of art. They, they could connect. There, there is no disconnect. They might be in two different types of, as we like to call them, genres. But that, no, that's not the point. It's oil, and he might, he would be fascinated if he popped. Well, he would, he would want ten minutes. Let's give him ten years, and it would be fabulous, right? Okay. So, did I, yeah, I shared that. Elements, I shared that. Yeah, we shared that. I'm gonna close that, and we're gonna look at the web piece, and then okay. Everything will be on and pop it. Let me, let me stand by. Stand by. Sorry, somebody's texting me. Okay. How about, how, okay, this is what I'm going to do. How about we do a, oh, oh nasty, a commercial in real time. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me, let me, let me hit it right. All right, here we go. One 
and we will be done. I'm so glad I got this done because th this is important. It's a it's important to start the next. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's how I like to roll. That's how I like to roll. So, okay, let me make sure. And shout out to the present and the future. I will always have show lineups. Please hit all of those reminder buttons because it doesn't matter if I change it around you will be alerted as to when we go live. Okay, thank you. Now this is the abundantartist.com. And I, you, I'm gonna take my face away because you, you don't need to see that. And I'm gonna take this away because I think you get the gist of the matter. <laughs> Let me get rid of that, okay. I love these websites. They are so important. Please put these videos on an art smart playlist because I'm telling you, you don't, don't ask me to search for a video. I make a playlist. I'll share my playlist periodically. But the reason why you have a channel, guess what? Everyone has a channel. It doesn't matter if you don't make content. You can make playlists. Put Gigi Darling, Deirdre, Art Smart Curator, whatever you want to name it. Lump me into other wonderful content creators that talk about art. But if you want to stay true to Gigi, make it class culture so you can just find mine because you don't want a whole playlist with 500 videos on it. I learned my lesson. I'm still cleaning my watch later. It's laborious, but that's what I get because I refuse to delete it because I, I saved it for a reason. <laughs> okay. This is called The Abundant Artist, and it, it has everything, coaching, courses, speaking. This is important because as they're learning how to draw, they're also learning how to interpret, describe art. And whether you're an artist or the person attending the show, looking at the piece of art, you're doing the same thing they're doing. That's my whole point in making this. You know, you're, it's all, we're all in it together. Five tips for describing artwork. I'll even take the word your out to the average person. Okay. Now I'm not going to read all of this. You, you know how I wrote. Mention the colors and their effects. Put yourself in the mindset of the average person or vice versa. The person watching the piece of art, engaging in it at the show buying it, loving it, put your mindset in the artist. See, you know, I have to fix it up for y'all. I'm, I'm here to take care of you. I, I just don't commit to how people put things in sentences. I have to uh, give it life. Art is not passive. You have to engage, use action words, you know, right? It, it, you have to, you know, Drawing is a verb. Using only sheets of paper, he created a list of the in infinites or in infinitives, sorry, of 84 verbs, including to roll, crease, fold, store, etc. This list also provided 24 possible contexts within which these verbs could be used, including uh, gravity, entropy, uh -huh, nature, etc. Describing this list as a series of actions related to the artist and the creative process. He used it to guide himself while creating in multiple mediums. It's amazing, you guys. It's amazing. 
So in, in, engage in this, uh, uh, you know, uh, article. So that's, those are great tips. Now I like this, um, cause there's a podcast, you know, that yes, they're, they're trying to sell you something and that's fine. If you want to buy it, that's fine. But here, this is, I like this too. How to sell your art online. Okay. Online one-on-one. Okay. Tips. And then, okay, Wait, there's something else. Okay, the four foundations of a thriving art practice. How to sell your art online. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to leave. Click it too, even if you don't make anything, even if you're not an artist, but you can go to an art gallery and figure out, oh, they're selling in an art gallery. We just had a pandemic. Now, what happened? Everyone had to be forced to what? Sell anything and everything online. That's why this webby is important. Free resource library. Free, 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 free. Okay. Free. Free. Mm -hmm. Free. Okay. Next webby. Mm hmm. All right. I love this stuff. This is the best way to start a weekend. Every weekend, meaning Saturday, Sunday, I do nothing but art. Now, yes, I engage in the other sectors of YouTube, but no, nobody will ever stop. I wake up in the morning to something artistic and I go to bed at night, something artistic. No one will ever be able to take that away from me. I will not. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is, uh, I just say collective, okay? Um, there, are, there are worksheets. Here's a great, this is good for kids, even for adults. You know, shout out to the future. They're trying to sell me or rent a car for my upcoming <laughs> trips. Take children to an art gallery. That's me and my grandmama. And in the process of teaching them, what? You're teaching yourself. They don't know that you don't know. They don't know that you're looking at it, uh, Gigi darling. And then you're like, oh, okay. We're talking about line. Mm -hmm. We're talking about colors. T take a five-year-old to a gallery and talk about colors. Blue, green. They're, they're just going to start yelling them out and you're going to be the proudest parent in the gallery. As long as they know how to behave themselves. Don't, they can't be touching nothing. You know what I'm saying. Strap them in the stroller chair. That's me and my grandma. And she, that's where it started. Shout out to grandma, mother T, my father's mother. Okay. That's why I put that image of those children in the um, intro. And then you go all the way down and, and it's just fun. Go all the way down on some of these websites. Don't act like you know everything. That's not the point in, in engagement. The important engagement is to learn something. Okay, so then go back up. The people are leaving a great comments and teaching jobs over here. If you want a job, yes, this is overseas. But you, you, here we go. Six exercises to practice passive while students learn some art. Okay, the Da Vinci Code, Leonardo Da Vinci. That's another reason why I like this website. Reading comprehension. So here you can read about the artists. Okay. And shout out to all the students that are graduating in real time and in the future, every graduation season. And now the world is going to be even better because now we spent a whole year teaching kids at home. As far as I'm concerned, parents should always be a part of the learning process. See, now you appreciate teachers even more. How about that? Mm -hmm. And shout out to the teachers that hung in there and did the, all of those zoom meetings all projects online it was it's, it was a whole new world during the pandemic shout out to the future it was a whole new world i was over here with my i was a, a, a happy like a little bug snug in a rug i was so proud of Gigi. oh i went to school learned everything digital i would have been miserable if i didn't know anything and didn't have any of these skills i wouldn't have made now video 
I would have felt lost. That was the best investment in the whole of my life. And yeah, and, and I'm YOLO, I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I got the benefit of living in a digital world just by going to school. Isn't that crazy? I love it. Okay. Next. Enjoy all of these. These will always live down below. This one is cool. And these websites are important. Why? Because they're doing exactly what we're talking about. They're engaging in the world of art. They're, they're, they're saying, this matters so much to me, I'm going to make a whole vlog, video, page, whatever. Now, Erica, I like this one. She has home blog, services gallery, art tools, and about her. So even if you're standing there in a gallery, you guys, and Erica is right there, it's a show and she's an exhibit, you can go to the artist's website. Remember on the description card, it had www. Let's just pretend it was Erica. And then you have a phone, your device, you look it up while you're there. And look at all the hard work she put in, all the fun stuff. Here she's talking about why criticism is an essential part of an artist's life, how to handle it like a pro excellent and you get to learn about the artist if they're not there okay what is art criticism and why it's important to an artist's life okay there's someone in a gallery enjoying the fabulous uh, image there and please when you go to a gallery dress up have fun and look at all these categories art business studio supplies creativity drawing experimentation 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 <laughs> these words freebies downloads paintings oils photography sketchbooks i love sketchbooks i usually turn them into scrapbooks but I, i'm going to start sketching i need them. here it says know your why consider the source take control remember the benefit of receiving feedback listen Deconstruct feedback. Always show appreciation. Take what is useful to you and leave out the rest. Now, you're saying, again, Gigi, I'm not an artist. No, that's not the point. The point is you're doing the same thing she's doing. You're going to the gallery after the piece of art is done. And you're trying to say, what is it that I like about it? What She made it for me. I'm engaging right now this moment in time. What do I find useful? about what I found out about this after I critique it. You can say it's it's depressing, but how is that useful? Wow. It's useful because, you know, we don't we don't have to engage in that type of war that's on that canvas no more. That's useful. It, it's a moment, it's a snapshot and I mean, it, whatever you get out of it. I don't know. I'm just saying. You also whole gallery you spent your, your whole afternoon you might as well understand it as well might as well engage okay and don't be afraid mm -hmm. so next okay we did hers but oh oh let me see let me see that's her same website but why do i have it twice let me let me copy but it looks different so before i pull it up Before I pull it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what it looks like. Maybe I found something interesting about it. No, it's the same thing. Finding finding your artistic voice style and voice a key is rarely discussed. Finding your artistic voice. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put that. Let me see. No, I'm just gonna leave it there. No, I'm gonna put it in extra extra. That's what I'm gonna do. Edit, cut, and I'm put that in extra extra. Mm hmm. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I like doing things in order. Okay. Makes me feel better. Okay. Three more and we're done. Copy. Okay. It's not so bad, huh? Yeah, it's not so bad. Important subject. Important subject. 
I know, you know, when you go to our school and things like that, they can spend like four hours talking about this. I'm not me. I, I, I can't do it. Now here, alcation. I love that. Oh, now what are they asking me? Trying to sell me something. What are you asking me? Oh. Stand by. What? It was stuck, you guys. Sorry. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's closed. Go away. No, go away, guys. Uh-oh, Memorial Day is coming up, Shaw. All these sales. Let me close it. Stop seeing this. It's inappropriate because I don't want to watch it. Okay, yes. Back to the show. Go away. Oh, nasty. Uh, 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 yo. Yes, I love watching those. But that's filmmaking. That's digital filmmaking. Love it. A digital treasure. Look at that. You go, girl. Math is tough for me. Okay. 400 words to describe texture. You Now, you know I was not going to leave you out hanging in the wind. I'm going to give it to you. Let me make this a little bigger. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. This is crazy. Y'all need to stop. It's too much, ain't it? Now, I like this website because they talk about other things, what they offer. Humanities, academia, social science, agricultural, and farming. Yes, I want Oh, nasty. Oh, yeah, I need to keep that. Okay. The difficulty of describing texture. 400 words. No, we're not going to do all of that. But here is something interesting. Texture and soul. Not the texture of wood, nor the texture of steel. But the texture of you is what makes your soul real. A, a baby. They made the piece of art. It's on exhibit. They want someone to experience it. It has to live. After, don't have a piece of art in a garage. What's the point in making it? Uh, loan it. They go from A to Z, you guys. I'm, I'm going to go as slow as I can because I don't want to make this too long. A to M or F and a Z. You can do this. no reason to say I can't find the words on how to describe anything artistic. You can start here. This is the only video you'll ever need to see. No, I'm just kidding. But it's a great start, isn't it? You see what I'm saying? Texture is an art. Whether you're feeling it or looking at it. And here, why is it important to use texture, descriptors, you can read the rest. Okay? Lots of comments. Great article. Great article. Here, I'm going to leave that there. Great article. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me come back to you. Oops. Oh, mm, that button is dangerous. Okay. And that article is down uh, below. They are still. Trying to get me to buy a color in a car. I don't need no red car in Las Vegas. Never. Plus, I have family and friends. All right, two more. Two more. Extra. No, I I know. I know. What I'm gonna do. One of these should be open already. So uh the New York Times. I'm just gonna show it to you. I only want to do one extra on here. In the New York Times, they talk about, let's see, let's open it together, share screen, analyzing art, seven ways to think about texture, okay? Analyzing the elements of our six ways. We already talked about. Here, they can, they're giving you lessons as well. I'm going to talk about it in the future. Shape, form, line. Oh, my gosh. Go away. What the heck? 
Uh huh. Shape, form, line, color, space, and value. I try not to get angry. <laughs> it's like road rage out here. Okay. That's art. It's it's art. It's sculpture, but but it's art, right? Okay. More texture, right? Describing it. Remember, I described the uh, that exhibit. Beautiful, right? They're getting really ridiculous with all this, you know, these pop-ups and stuff. Okay, look at that. Here's a painting. Okay. Right? Here's a photo. That That's actually in the, uh, uh, the uh, polluted river in India. Shout out to India. I don't know if they're in India. I'm just saying they're having a tough time during the pandemic. And that foam, it's a natural a byproduct of pollution. I don't even know why she's in there. But anyway, see, I, I was depressed. But I can still look at her beautiful colors and her dress and I could get they, that they don't have a choice. Textures in nature. All right. Shout out to the naturalist. Gigi Darling is an amateur naturalist. So was uh, Claude Monet. Mm -hmm. Right? Scavenger hunts. Right? So this is a great website. And, and I think I'm just going to uh, stop here. Your turn. Yeah, you you is a, a a billion books. You got to start somewhere, and that's the end of that. Okay, I don't I don't buy New York Times. My mother loved it. I they still trying to get me to uh yeah I'm gonna go to all the way to the top. They're still trying to get me to um. Here's YouTube. To to re up it, and I'm like no I ain't doing it. Not during a pandemic. I'm saving all my coins. I'm trying to retire. They'll still be there when I'm retired. Now, two more. No, one more. Because the last one, remember, remember, I, Erica had something else for you. That's going to be an extra, extra, mm -hmm. extra, extra. <laughs> I love being clever with words. It's so much fun. Now, this one is important because it's the thumbnail. And I just wanted to drive this home. And before we do, we're going to share several more things or one last thing now you can appreciate this when you walk into a gallery that's it's part of the show they can't staple it to the and you can't take it off the wall and look at it usually this is behind the painting or on the label somewhere but you can't be touching the painting so appreciate the fact that somebody put that near the piece of art that acrylic piece of art, that acrylic on canvas, the name of it, when they made it, the artist, when they were born, and how it got there. Okay? And that they give homage to the person that gave it to them, why it's important, it was a gift. All of that matters. It's the provenance of it. Where it came, what questions they're giving you answers. Now you look up and you what? Start the fun by describing it and engaging it. Right? Right. Now you're ready. Now you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and you're going to hit the ground running to the next free gallery near you. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. That, that's what you're supposed to do. That's the whole print of these visuals last but not least okay yeah hour and a half okay i don't feel too bad i like these you guys because they keep me on track i would get so distracted if it was a bunch of y'all in here and I, I i want to this has to live forever this is hard work being a content creator but it's a labor of love trust me when i say before i let you go i always ask politely and ever so slightly please subscribe Please just hit the subscribe button. Please, thank you. You're here. Might as well. I appreciate you. Join the membership because these videos are only for members. I share the intro, but only for members. And eventually the intro goes away to members only. And if you are a content creator, let us know who you are down in the description box. I appreciate you. 
And in order to find me, all you have to do is put in what? Class culture. I had to share this website because remember when we were looking up the words, I found this thumbnail and thought.com. Thank you very much. They hit everything that we're going to be hitting in the future. So go ahead and look at this now. So when we do hit these, you will know elements of composition, which are how you describe a piece of art, unity, Balance, movement, rhythm, focus, contrast, pattern, proportion. You have to engage, right? If you don't engage, how are you going to learn? I don't understand. But when you're over here, I feel your energy. I know you love this as much as I do. And that's why I appreciate you. Okay? So, yay, we made it. That was a tough one. And, again, thank you for being patient. I, I adore you guys. I do. Great subject, great topic. We have more, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please subscribe, like, and share. Join as well because these are private for our VIP members. If you are a visiting content creator, let our audience know who you are down below in the description box. Art to go, I appreciate you so much. If you found this interesting, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate you so much. It was my pleasure and my one and only desire to guide you along the way in class culture. Okay. Until next time, until the next Art Smart, and until I see you soon. Okay. Bye.